Hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today, I just want to um, discuss this. Uh, it's an electric chainsaw. It's a Remington 3.5 uh, horsepower. Um, this is the uh, saw that I use in the yard. I don't have any more two strokes. So, I've been using this. Somebody gave this to me a few years back. Um, one problem it had was the chain was dull. And I also noticed that it wasn't oiling correctly. Um, I've had about two or three people, maybe more, uh, call me up with complaints with their chainsaws. Uh, some of the people told me they put a new chain on it and it didn't cut. And others just said it didn't cut. And the number, number one problem with these is you have to put the chain on right. Okay, so if I could show you this here, this is uh, called the depth 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 gauge. Okay, um, this has the curl to, towards the back on top of the uh, saw here. If it's curling the other way, that means you've had you put the chain on wrong, and then you can't cut anything with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one apart here. I'm going to have to clean it up. I tried sharpening the chain a couple of times. I'm not that good at it. There's videos on it. There's like fucking Billy Ray Smith. He has uh, a channel. He just seems to be pretty good at it. Um, you can watch them if you want to uh, learn how to sharpen your chain. But I think this one's too far gone. I mean like the depth depth gauge here is like disappearing it's just shot and probably mostly because it wasn't uh, being oiled correctly what it was was it had a clog uh, I'll show you when I get it apart what exactly happened with this but I was able to unclog it and I and I was able to get the oil or work and okay so I took the two uh, retaining nuts off and what you do is you pull this cover off over here and then you can uh, take the whole bar assembly off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean everything up real good. Um, the number I came up with with this is an Oregon brand. And it's an R56. We'll see if it fits. I'm not sure if it's going to fit or not. I couldn't get any more information off the saw. It's like worn out where the uh, model number and everything is. I was able to see that it said 16 uh, inch on it and from what I saw I'll show you how you can measure to see what size chain it is at least so I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble it clean it all up and we'll get ready to put the new chain on it and then I have a couple of little trees I got to cut with it and we'll try it out and see how it goes Okay, another thing you want to make sure is where the chain rides in the bar here, you want to clean it. So, I have a set of uh, torch tip cleaners that I use to uh, clean carburetor, jets, and all that. So, I have one right here that fits in here really good. So, what you want to do is you want to run this all the way around and make sure everything is uh, clean in there before you uh, install the chain and put it back together. Okay, as far as the oiler goes, um, the oil actually comes out of this hole here. And if it's not working properly, which it wasn't before, I had to do some cleaning. Uh, most of the problem, I believe, was in here. So what I did was I took the plunger out of, there's a plunger that goes in here, which when this rotates, it's like a cam. I'll show you when I put it back together. There's like a cam in there. And it, and it keeps uh, pressing and depressing this plunger that goes in here. Which I'm going to place in there right now. Let's stick it back in there. I just made sure everything worked okay. So I'm sticking this plunger back in. And it's a plunger that has a spring in it. Okay, so... Once it's going up and down like this, when the uh, 
when its gear assembly here is spinning what it's doing is it's pumping the oil through the line and out this hole here so I tested it made sure everything was all right I sprayed a little uh, brake clean here when I had the plunger out and it was clear here it's been working fine but I just want to make sure before we go through all this trouble that it's working properly okay if you put your chain on the bar this is the chainsaw this is the top and it looks like this depth gauge here then you put it on wrong that's on backwards so I'm going to turn it around and put it on the right way and show you what it looks like then don't try to put the chain on when the bar is on the saw what you want to do is you want to take the bar off because you have to take it off anyway and do the cleaning that I said you need to do and what I do is I just hold the bar straight up place the chain on there like so and then we're going to stick it on the uh, machine okay so I installed the chain this is the right way it's supposed to be you see the depth depth gauge right it curls to it to the back the flat part of it is towards the back of the saw okay and what I did was I set it all on there I snugged these up and on this particular model here this is your chain adjustment this one has a wing nut you in other words you loosen these up these uh, two nuts up and then you turn these in until your chain is tight now this is pretty tight I just tested it too to make sure it was okay but after a couple of cuts with it I may have to adjust it just make sure your chain is always adjusted and everything is clean and it's that's all there is to it if you feel you 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 should clean it every time you use it you should take this cover off because there's a lot of uh, uh, dirt in there because of the oil because you know the chain gets oiled and everything catches inside this cover and everything in here so it doesn't hurt once in a while to take this cover off and clean it all out and you know it's good for your uh, oil or two to make sure everything's clean this way it oils up properly uh, a lot of times I've noticed that uh, the chain just goes bad because the oiler is not working which I think probably happened to this one here at one time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out front and get everything all set up and I have a couple of small there's small trees but they're starting to mingle in with the bigger trees and I know that's that's going to be a problem I hate cutting trees down if they're not dead but um, this is what we're going to have to do okay it's this uh tree here um i don't know if it already got in, entangled into the other stuff here i mean it's not that tall but i'm going to have to block the driveway off for one thing and then we'll get started on cutting Well, let me see what happens if we got, have a hanger here, then I've got a problem. Because it looks like there's vines growing up into the other trees here. So, it's going to be a little dangerous. But I'm going to try to cut it on an angle and see if she'll fall.
Well, that wasn't bad. The soil works good. I, just, I threw it just pull into the driveway. I cut it on an angle so it fell this way. I hope this helps somebody out with their chainsaw. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.